Okay, so here we go, talking about Better For You Baking today. I'm gonna share my screen for you because um, I have a bit of a PowerPoint that I want to share as we go through today's uh, class. And um, what we are making today is going to be featuring one of the Miss Jones baking products. So if you are a follower of Holly's um, Feature Friday class, she did a great segment about Miss Jones baking. So some of this might be a little bit of review, but we wanted to, of course, incorporate one of those products into our Better For You baking class. Um, because they're they're such a great item. We're so happy to be partnering with them um, this month. And we're rounding out February here with our chocolate series and Better For You Baking. So what better way to do that than using one of their cookie mixes? Um, so once again, can be a little bit of a review, but if not, um, and this is new info for you, I think it's some really great stuff. So I just wanted to highlight uh, Miss Jones Baking Company um, is essentially kind of like a make it easy mix and frosting line. Okay. So, um, you know, making you feel good about if you don't have a whole lot of time to make things from scratch, um, things of that nature, then these can be a great go to with great ingredients that you can feel good about providing to your family. So, this quote that I have, the statement is right off of their website. Um, they state by using the highest quality ingredients, everything we make is responsibly sourced without any artificial flavors or hydrogenated oils, which is, I think, a great highlight for this company. Um, and I was new to them until Holly mentioned them. Um, so this is a newer line for me as well. And what I have learned about them so far and have tried from them so far has been really great. So. We're excited to present them to y'all today. Um, I just said y'all, I spent too much time in Nashville. Um, so what we are specifically highlighting today are the cookie mixes, okay? The recipe that we are doing, you can either use their uh, monster cookie mix, which is a gluten-free mix, really great. Um, and then you could also just use their plain chocolate chip cookie mix also so either one would work great let's dive into the nutrition of both i pulled these slides directly these next two slides directly from holly so once again these might be a little bit of review but i feel like they're really good things to note so i wanted to emphasize them again i see the question in chat what area or aisle are these products found these are in the natural and organic section so a lot of our giants that have the designated natural and organic section will also have a specific baking section within that where you will find like the gluten-free flours um, and other things. And um, that is where they should be. Um, I will say that not all of our stores do carry them. It's gonna be more of our larger mainstream ones. Um, but if your store does not carry them, I would say they are definitely worth the drive to one that does, okay? So let's specifically talk here about the chocolate chip mixes. Um, 18 cookies per bag is what you're going to get if you make regular size cookies. Here are the big awesome points about these mixes, especially with the cookies. They have 50% less sugar, which is derived from um, what we call Miss Jones Smart Sugar, which we're going to talk more about here in a minute and um, what her smart sugar is and how they can provide these cookies with 50% less sugar. They are 100% whole grain because they are made with whole wheat flour. Um, and there's 25% more chocolate chips, which can't beat that, right? And then also a really excellent point, no artificial sweeteners or sugar alcohols. So sometimes cookies like this that don't have all of that added sugar to them are going to be really high in those artificial sweeteners or sugar alcohols. And those things, specifically sugar alcohols, can tend to make tummies upset if we have too much of them. Um, so really great that these products don't carry um, those ingredients. 
I see um, somebody mentioned you found that it helps to ask customer service. Um, they get multiple requests, they can get them in. That's you know a good potential. You can always run it by customer service or even just see in customer service if perhaps you missed it somewhere, it might be tucked in somewhere else um, that you, you know, that maybe you wouldn't think it would be at in a different location. But a great nutrition profile over here, two cookies as a serving for these chocolate chip ones, low sodium, not very high in fat. And then once again, only that five grams of added sugar, even one gram of protein. So pretty cool there um, for these chocolate chip cookie mixes. Um, your monster cookies are going to be similar. Okay, they are um, going to be gluten-free because they're made with 100% oats. So these are a whole grain because they have those oats mixed in. The last ones were whole grain because of the whole wheat flour. But similar situation, they have 50% less sugar because of that Miss Jones Smart Sugar. 25% more of the chocolate chips and candies. So the fact that these have candies in um, give it that monster quality. Um, and then also, once again, the no artificial um, sweeteners or sugar alcohols, which is excellent. So let's talk about that. How is it possible? How do we have that 50% less sugar and even a dose of fiber? Okay, two grams of fiber. And it's all due to that Miss Jones Smart Sugar. Okay, Miss Jones Smart Sugar is a blend. So it's a blend of cane sugar and ingredients derived from starchy root vegetables that are naturally sweet. So, um, really awesome that that um, has come to be for this company and that things are turning out great with using them in their products. Um, so I'm really liking them for that reason, okay? Here's our recipe for today. We're gonna be making these monster ice cream cookie sandwiches. And guys, I was originally going to show you um, me mixing up these cookies, but I made a batch this morning so we would have them to actually make the ice cream sandwiches and I was like this is so quick and easy like they don't need to see me mix up this mix um it's more important for you to see building the ice cream sandwich but um I just wanted to walk through what I did it is simply um just these ingredients here you start off with two tablespoons of softened butter and a half a cup of creamy peanut butter you actually do these in a mixer, an electric mixing bowl or a hand mixer um, and beat that up until it's nice and creamy. And then you're gonna add one egg. Once again, beat that up. And then you add in the actual mix and you just beat that on low speed. I was a little worried about putting the mix in with the mixer. I was like, is this going to crush up the um, the chocolate candies or the chocolate chips? And it did not. They all stayed intact, which was awesome. Um, you could do it by hand, but I will have to say that it was super easy to just throw these ingredients in my mixer and go. Okay. This next picture here, I did take a picture for you guys to show you. This is what it then looked like in my mixing bowl. So you can see all of those great whole grain oats. The candies have stayed in um, intact, as well as the chocolate chips. Um, so I do see here someone mentioned, if you're still searching for where to find it, yes, on our giant website, it does usually say what aisle things are in. So that is a great note to mention. Um, but yeah, this is what the mix looked like then after I mixed it together in my mixer. Um, it, does tend to be a little crumbly. So when I was placing these on my cookie sheet, I did use an ice cream scoop and then kind of just push them into balls and then put them on my uh, my cookie sheet. And they turned out great. Um, you bake these guys at 350 uh, for, I did mine at exactly eight minutes. If they're a little on the smaller side, it suggests doing them for seven minutes little bigger side, doing them almost up to 10 minutes. But I found out that mine came pretty good right at eight minutes. Okay. So 
Now, um, let's switch gears and actually walk through making the ice cream sandwiches. Okay, so let me find my other screen here and I'll spotlight that for you guys so you can see making the, um, the ice cream sandwiches. And I have to say that um, the cookies themselves, just as they are, are quite delicious. Sometimes I can be a little bit skeptical about things like this, and um, I am not at all with this brand. These cookies are 100%, and um, I think that it is great. Uh, I'm going to spotlight this here. Um, I think it is great for if you aren't, you know, you don't have enough time to be making um, something homemade. You just need something quick and easy. Um, if you want a good after school activity for the kids, maybe you have the grandkids coming over. This is one of those mixes that once again, I feel like is easy and you can feel really good about feeding your family too. I was very pleasantly surprised with the taste of these cookies, the texture and how good they baked and came out. Okay. Um, now, whenever you make any type of ice cream, cookie sandwich okay i'd recommend after your cookies bake and they cool uh put them in the freezer for about at least 30 minutes before trying to make your ice cream cookie sandwiches okay because it's going to help firm them up and make them a little bit less crumbly when you go to put the ice cream in here okay so once again freeze these guys for about 30 minutes before you try to start putting um the ice cream in them to make our sandwiches. The ice cream I'm using today is just our giant brand plain vanilla, okay? But you can use whatever flavor you are into. I just thought that sticking with the vanilla would highlight the cookies a little bit more. Going back to the cookies, remember there is a half a cup of peanut butter in this mix in particular. And had I not known that it was peanut butter, I don't know that I would have said, oh yeah, like that's a peanut butter cookie. Like you get that mouth feel and that essence that it's peanut butter, but these are not by any means overwhelming in the taste of peanut butter, which I like. Um, don't get me wrong. I like peanut butter cookies, but for something like this, that's not the vibe I want to go for, right? I just want a good cookie. So. Um, you could replace the half a cup of peanut butter with almond butter um, if you would like, however you want to, to go about it. But I just used our uh, giant brand creamy peanut butter in my mix. Okay, half a cup. So I've had my ice cream out for mm, maybe 10 minutes as I was getting ready for class. And so it is a little soft which is going to help spread this onto our cookie, okay? I just scooped some on there. You could spread it out with a spatula if you wanted. I'm gonna see how it goes just, see if I can find one a little bit long, smaller, just with doing this, okay? Look at that. How cute and fun is that? And then you can kind of just spread this around. Now, if you wanted to get crazy and wild with your monster cookies, you could take some mini chocolate chips and put them right in there in the ice cream as you're spreading them around or some sprinkles. But I feel like these cookies have a lot going on already that I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let them plain like this. Now, after you um, put your ice cream, I'm gonna do a little bit more this time. After you put your ice cream in here, you do want to put these back in the freezer um, to let them set. I see somebody said, yeah, Verity's gonna have a yummy snack when she gets home from school. You better believe it. Um, guys, these cookies are great. I know I keep saying it, but I just can't, I can't get over it. I really like them. I really like the flavor. I really like the nutrition profile. Um, so yeah. My daughter is absolutely going to have a great snack when she comes home from school. 
and one that I'm not cringing about either. Not that I cringe too often because I am a believer of everything in moderation, but how delish, right? These cookies, guys, I feel like, and here I go again. I don't know how everybody's going to feel about this, but from the nutrition profile, the taste of them with the oats and everything, like the serving size is two. I'm probably going to eat two of these tomorrow morning for breakfast with a cup of milk. Like these, I think, can be breakfast cookies without shame. Not that you should have shame, but you know what I'm saying, guys. So I think they're great for that. Um, when I was mixing these together, I felt like they looked like they had the consistency of um, like a no-bake um, like energy bite or protein bite. So I was looking on their website and it does say that when you're mixing the mix together, if you omit the egg and put in like some chia seeds and some honey, then you could absolutely do these as just like a quick edible cookie dough or energy bite, however you wanted to do it. So I think there's a lot of good possibilities for these. But I myself, like I said, think I'm going to stick with this ice cream sandwich situation. I think I'm going to eat some just plain for breakfast tomorrow morning. Um, lots of good possibilities. So definitely check these out. Give them a go. Make some ice cream sandwiches for the family. I'm getting a little melty, so I'm going to have to get these guys in the freezer. But super fun. Okay. All right, guys, I hope that perks up the end of your February for a little bit. Um, I feel like these are uh, great ones for a day like today when it's going to be a little bit warmer outside. So just a fun way to do that. Um, do you flatten them when baking? I push them down just slightly. You could a little bit more if you wanted a flatter cookie. Totally up to you. Um, do you wrap them when freezing them? You can. Um, I don't think that I'm going to. I think I'm going to freeze them just as is. Either way will work. Okay. Any other questions? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find um, where I am here to get back to the main screen. There we go. Uh, there we are. Okay. So any other questions or thoughts on that? No? Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy this nice weather. Um, what is today? Today's Thursday. Holly will be back tomorrow for Friday, Future Friday. Um, and then we will all be back next week. I'm trying to see what do I have going on next week? Oh, I'll be on on Monday for produce spotlight um so yeah if you're not already signed up for that on monday produce spotlight i will be back for that and i will see you guys then all right bye guys take care